Just hours ago, the Gwinnett County DA, they announced charges will now be filed against that 18-year-old driver involved in the death of a four-year-old little girl. The unexpected news came after Gwinnett County Police had already released a statement saying that charges wouldn't be pursued. 11 Live's Brittany Kleinpeter is speaking with a legal expert about why the district attorney may be pursuing charges now and what this means for everyone involved. It's a case that has already rocked a family and its community. And tonight, it appears to be getting a little bumpier. We understand that there is a difference in opinion on how this case should or should not progress. Just hours ago, the Gwinnett County District Attorney revealed her office has been reviewing a case involving an accident that killed four-year-old Abigail Hernandez at the Mall of Georgia last month. But what we have seen now we fully intend to bring charges on this matter. The announcement comes after Gwinnett Police said the Solicitor General would not be filing charges because only serious traffic offenses are enforceable on private property, such as reckless driving, DUI, or a hit and run. And the circumstances surrounding this incident didn't meet such charges. My first reaction was that someone went and studied the law, went back and looked at the statute. Personal injury attorney Robert James, who previously served as both the DeKalb County District Attorney and Solicitor General, says what appears to be a change of heart may have just been a mistake. And the official court of Georgia specifically um, speaks to a scenario where someone is driving a vehicle on private property, but in a parking lot, specifically a mall parking lot. And what the law says in, in those instances uh, the rules of the road apply and police can get involved and give citations and charge people. According to police, Abigail was walking with her father and seven-year-old sister when a white Chevy Silverado pickup turned out of the parking lot and hit the family. They were all taken to the hospital, but Abigail didn't make it. The Hernandezes need us all now as a community to come together and do what justice requires. In Atlanta, Brittany Kleinpeter, 11 Alive News.